got an interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn. If there's a more secure cell, why wasn't he in it? We have an active bomb threat. Backup needed in the meatpacking district. Over. Felicia's close to her goal. I've got to put an end to this, and fast. This area's full of Wall Street guys. Target-rich environment. Hello, cat. She's obviously familiar with these places. And that gives me an idea how to catch her. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. I whipped up to jam Vulture's wings. Too bad he improved them after that. is really behind all this. Oh, that was amazing. I knew See the way the one with the sword moved? Never seen anything like that. James, you're a real liar. hero. You're the best. This vial of the lizard's blood, I was able to mix up a cure and turn him back into Dr. Connors. Too bad it didn't last.
ground teams, this is stable control. What's our status at the yards? APC Oscar under fire. It's the demons. Hey, Pete. This lab monitors the health of marine life, and we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it. But the effects these diseases have, they're just... they are not something any living creature should go through. Looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish. I better take care of it before the food supply's contaminated. Found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish. I just need to spray it over the water. And fast, before people start getting sick. First step, get to the docks. I bet whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water. Call me your friendly neighborhood garbage man. <laughs> These barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. Now that it's clear, this is a perfect spot to spray. If I spread it evenly, the water currents will take it far and wide. Gotta cover a wide area. Fish will spread it to other fish, which is good, because there's not much for me to swing from further out. Based on the water currents, there's another area I need to hit. More 
barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of them. Great thing about barrels, they don't shoot at me. Side is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. Clear to spray. Come on, fishy fishies. This is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. That someone calls this into Jameson as Spider Man, water polluter. Okay. Time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured. Right, All clean. Well, by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight. Some good parts from this old cell phone. Wonder what I could accomplish with a real budget instead of dumpster diving.
Now here's a frightening thought. Oscorp does research and development for the military. Are the demons after experimental weapons? If I was a psychotic cult, I would be. I wonder where they got the idea. Hmm, what highly visible figure has made a career out of fighting madmen with lethal experimental technology like flight suits, tectonic gauntlets, and gigantic scorpion tails? No, 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 don't say the name. I just ate. Teams in port side, this is control. You haven't updated your position. Outpost X ray under attack. It's the demons. Felicia's leading me on a chase, but that's what's gonna help me find her. By feeding all the past locations into an algorithm, I can narrow down her likely point of origin. Hello, cat. I was too late to stop her here. But one or two more locations should give me enough data to pinpoint her hideout. My biggest fan. I can't let the demons kill him. You probably feel ganged up on right now. Maybe try not bombing the city. Demons are getting bold. Your assistance wasn't necessary. But it was fun. Felicia's close to her goal. And I've still got way too big an area to search. Gotta narrow it down. Every data point helps. Who she robbed, where they live.
There you are. I think Lonesome Pinky lives here. Stealing from a country singer. She's getting creative. But I'm getting closer. One more ought to do it. Two cars. Plus a bomb rig to explode. We need to stop them. Guys, don't look now. But I think the cops are on to you. Whoa! I'm losing them. Time to bomb in the truck. Gotta disable it. These demons must have crazy insurance premiums. Keep a beat on those demons. They're crafty. Folks, you've heard me express grave concern about the risk to civil liberties posed by the police department's crime system and their omnipresent towers. But at least the intention is to stop crimes. Now recently, Spider-Man has been seen tampering with these very towers. And it's reasonable that my loyal listeners suspect he is disabling the towers so he can commit his unlawful misdeeds with impunity. But Spider-Man is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill menace. Oh, he's a 12th-level Kung Fu master, 50 moves ahead menace. Which is why I think he's actually hacking into these towers to spy on you and me. Your only defense? Listen to my show. All the time. If he's gonna spy on us, let him hear that we're on to him by listening to me every waking moment. Location should give me the data I need to find Black Cat. By my rough estimate, she's got about 49 million in loot. I reach her before she gets to 50 and she might go straight. Got it. Oh man, that's the gallery where they keep the Jade Tiger. That's worth a cool million. I've got to run my algorithm and find Felicia quick. Found her hideout. Gotta get there before she leaves town.
1034. Demons have opened fire. Officers down. Officers near Devil's Shelf. Please report to the scene. Freedom Tunnel. Before Feast started, this was a haven for New York's homeless. Mostly abandoned now. Good hiding spot. Must be a hidden entrance or something. Bingo. This looks like everything she stole. But no sign of Felicia. Financial data on the Magia crime families. Is she trying to blackmail them? Fisk reported this stolen a few years back. Wine from a Magia vineyard. Aw, oh, look. Cat's dancing with the little spider. Also imprisoning him in a jar against his will. Cute. Very cute. Wow. First time I caught Felicia, she was trying to steal this. Looks like she finally went back to finish the job. What's this? Spider, you raced here to redeem me, didn't you? You're adorable. And cute, too. Which is why I made you something more... flattering. If you've got it, flaunt it. This couldn't all have just been a game, could it? Spider-Man, the black cat just robbed the police department's evidence lockup. What? How? That place is like Fort Knox. All those cats you found? When they were all together in the evidence room, they linked up, boosted their signal, and deactivated the alarms. No one even saw her sneak in. She knew I'd find the cats and report them to you. She played me, again. What'd she take? Just her old costume and gear. She let me find 50 million worth of loot just so she could get her stuff back. Which means she's got something even bigger planned. Wow. Gotta give her credit. She played you good. Are you smiling? You sound like you're smiling. Gotta go. <laughs> Not long ago, the demons committed another heinous act of terrorism when they took a tour bus and all of its occupants hostage. We have one of those occupants here with us now. A Mrs. Edna Packer of Edina, Minnesota. What happened, ma'am? Well, these horrible men in masks came on board with guns and held us all hostage. I thought I'd never see my kids again. And then the police saved us, and, and Spider-Man, of course. He was so brave. Mrs. Packer, I am so glad you're safe. And also, that I can enlighten you about Spider-Man. You're from out of town, so you don't know what a menace he is. But he saved me and my husband. But look at the big picture. Do you have these kind of crimes in a diner? Oh, certainly not. 
And do you have Spider-Man in a Dyna? Uh, no. And that is not a coincidence. You're welcome, Mrs. Packer. I consider explaining these things a public service. Want me going in, which means I'm going in. MJ, I'm at location number two. Can you believe these demons wear their masks just like walking around? Must make for confusing staff meetings. I'll try to figure out their operation while you throw a wrench into it. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect distribution network for drug running, which it looks like is their real priority. How do you backup guys get here so fast? 
I know it's not the six train. MJ, I've got the place locked down. Great. I'll call in an anonymous tip. I bet if the police check out those drop boxes, they'll find something more interesting than secondhand jeans. When Spider-Man had a sidekick, the Black Cat, a curvaceous young lady in leather. Not the kind you bring home to mother. And then, it turned out, she was a thief! Big shock, right? Well, I hear she's back. And let me make a prediction. Spider-Man's going to give her a second chance. Is it because he's naive? A thief himself? Or is he just thinking with his web shooters? Spider-Man, I know you're listening, so let me issue a warning now. As the old saying goes, lie down with cats, get up with fleas. What's that? <laughs> my intern is yammering in my ear again. It's dogs? I thought it was cats, it doesn't matter. The metaphor still applies. Dogs, cats, go away, Jared. All units, officers are under fire from mass hostile. Peter! You are not gonna believe what happened. 
So you know that address you gave me? I went there. <sighs> MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Almost shot a rat. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We build this war beast for Lee. Lee finances the boss's new venture. Win-win. Yo, Rick! Boss wants to talk to you. Get in here! Well, you better clean your Need to get into that, that office. Well. Boss sees that, he'll be pissed. So what's the boss doing with the money from this Lee job? Brave dust, man. All that cash is going straight into grave dust. Is this all for Lee? You tried any yet? Only samples. Careful. Boss is still perfecting the recipe. Man, it's got a kick. Vehicle needs tires this big. Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? being so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything. Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. Still, feels paranoid. Who asked you? Get back to work. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. <sighs> What's in these?
Come on now. what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in this. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never going to let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the great dumpling catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. <laughs> Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Ah. Uh... Where, where do you want me to, uh... Just... The couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. <laughs> <laughs>